Kupitia makofi. Come on. Now I have a speech. Sabina, 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 uh, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you for coming to witness what to me is a very important journey in what I call the next phase of our political safari. We were in a home called ODM, and as I said publicly for a long time, that was the party that I first ever joined in 2018. Otherwise, I had not been part I had never taken membership in any party. So in 2018, I joined ODM, believing that our ideology, our policies, especially espoused in the election of 2017, were still in sync. Were still in sync. In 2017, if you remember when we got together as NASA, we talked about canon. And the canon that we envisaged for Kenya was a canon away from what we termed as the oppression and backward policies of the Jubilee government. I think we were very clear. I also believe, because some of us suffered greatly, as you've heard, uh, being espoused here. You know, you young people, I don't know, come and do a history here. Unaona Paul Mwiti Hapa. If you want to know fearless, let me tell you, that's the man there. Unaona. In those days, you could not meet like you're meeting here. In those days, you had a gathering of just a few people in your office, and you were raided. So when you talk about the freedoms you're enjoying here, you look at Paul Mwiti and the foundation of Safina, and you take off your hearts in appreciation for the uhuru you have. Give him a big hand. We believed fearlessly in 2017 that we had to get away from the oppression of this Jubilee government. I was astounded when after we were just here, at swearing in the end of January that my party leader in March was to shake hands with the master oppressor of Uru Kenyatta. Mimi nilistuka. Nilistuka. Nikasema, maybe this is a politics which I don't understand, but I pray it is about ideology. I think we have waited four years and even Jimmy Wanjiki, who has been one of the biggest supporters of ODM and even of my party leader, Unaona vile nilikuwa oppressed out at Kasarani. Umeona hiyo? I was oppressed out. So it seems we did not inject Jubilee with the philosophies and ideologies of canon. It seems they infected us with a bag of oppression. We are now at a very critical stage in this nation. We are the ones who articulated the revolution. The revolutions that have been there were at independence. And it had its heroes and warriors. We had the second liberation, where my party leader here, and even my former party leader, Raila Molo Odinga, were heroes and liberators all. Now is the third liberation. And as you can see with Paul here, he has sent me an attacker kit. He knows his work in the front for the second liberation 
was done. Now, he can be wisdom. He can be the man we go to. To ask him, How did you go through this corner and that corner? How did you achieve greater heights? And in Sabina, how did you make it sail against the greatest floods? But you can see, he said, because he knows this is a different revolution. It is a revolution that was espoused a long time ago, but has never been actualized. It is articulated in the 2010 constitution he's talking about. Article 43 is very clear on the social economic rights due to all of us as Kenyans. 